G'day, it's Denadon here, and welcome back to Star Citizen. Today we are taking a look at one of the many ships that was added since the last update, and you know, ages ago since I last did a video. And this is the Esperia, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Blade. Or more correctly known as the Vandal Blade, for this is a Vandal ship. At least, technically it is, but not really. Let me sort of go in and explain that. Well, basically the idea behind this ship is that the Vandal Blade is an old Vandal light fighter, the Vandal being the aliens that are fighting the humans. Now, the Blade is supposed to be an old sort of carrier based ship. It was the first Vandal fighter that humanity encountered, and they're a bit obsolete now, but they're still sort of going in swarms. They're sort of equivalent to the Aegis Gladius in that, you know, they're a light fighter, they don't pack a lot of punch, they don't have a lot of defense, but they're quick and agile. Now, Esperia is a human company that makes, well, supposedly sort of replicas and stuff beforehand. We know them for having made the Scythe and Glaive, or rather they made the Glaive replica. The Scythe, I believe, is the actual ship. But anyway, the Blade is supposed to have been one of the products they made to train UEE pilots in how to combat, you know, Vandal fighters. Upon the Vandal sort of discontinuing the use of them, apparently a lot of these were in storage, and Esperia decided to start selling them off to the public. So you could get basically a highly accurate replica of a Vandal ship, however it is still actually human built. So, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Interesting engines at the back. Not sure about the history of this thing, because, as I just explained, it's a bit sort of convoluted. There's a Vandal Blade, but this isn't a Vandal Blade, this is an Asperia Blade, and, you know, there might be differences or whatever. But it's an interesting looking ship. It looks quite a lot different to the original design, but at the same time, it's, you know, apparently they've been working on a new Vandal aesthetic design. Oh, I'm trying to get my controls back, there we go. Uh, yeah, I'm landing on an asteroid right now, so I'm having to use the EVA suit the whole time, and I am not used to using the EVA suit with a controller, so that is difficult. But yeah, you can see it looks alright, but the main thing, of course, is how it flies, so we gotta board it. Uh, is my light on? Yeah, you can't make it. Also, that ground is weird in the way it moves. Whoop. But yeah, you got like... These two, you got two plasma cannon uh, size 2, I believe. They might be size 3, but pretty sure they're size 2. And two laser cannons. Uh, well, those are your plasma cannons there, and then your laser cannons will be those. So you've got two on each side, and then you've got some missiles. So it's fairly lightly armed, but it's a light fighter. What do you expect? Let's board this thing. Wait for it to come down. Bang. Smashes me in the head there. But it's usual. Oh, that's fun. It didn't bother to load that time. Come on. There we are. <laughs> ah, I didn't have that bug before. But yeah, this is usual Vandal affair in that you're sort of laying prone in the ship. And you'll see it's got a rather unusual interior design. Like it's got these weird sort of pipes. It looks like you sort of fly it by holding on to it looks like reins. So, uh, not sure about that. You can actually see a bit better of the ship now. We're in Yella's asteroid belt, by the way. And that uh, asteroid surface is really creeping me out, so let's get out of here. Let's, uh, where is it? I've got to find the spot. Oh, I don't like how that jumps about all the time. There we go. So you'll see it has just like the other ships. We've got this weird sort of vandal. Supposedly it's like the vandal HUD is trying to break through. Don't know why it would be doing that, given this is a human ship and not an original vandal ship. But, whatever. It is what it is, I suppose. You'll see it strafes up very quick. Uh, we'll put the... was a good angle before we put the gear away. You'll see how the ship sort of changes its shape a bit. So, the wings originally in the first design folded a lot further forward than they do now. But, at the same time, it kind of works. And, yeah, you got this kind of intimidating looking shape, not gonna lie. So we'll just start flying. It is really agile. I mean, this ship is supposed to have basically no armor. Like, it's really just on speed and skirmish. 
but you can see it responds pretty quick to the inputs. It does, however, run out of power very quick. Like, I should very soon start getting messages about thruster power being low. But, uh, that's all you could do, really. It's got a top speed normal of 290 meters a second. There we go, there's the warning. But with a boost, which you can see goes up pretty quick, not as fast as the Herald or one of the racing ships, but quite fast for a combat ship. And it will top out at about 1240. So you'll see it doesn't take us too long to get there. There we go. We're now doing 1240. So we're zooming past this asteroid belt. And uh, yeah, you got the cannon. You got the laser cannon there, and then you the other ones. So they seem to have mostly similar velocities that makes aiming them a little easier. However, when I actually tried this ship in combat, it didn't really seem to do all that much damage. Now that could be just me being unable to actually hit properly. That could be this online desyncing. So something I thought was hitting isn't actually hitting, but you know, it is what it is. It's like I said, it's a light fighter. I think in the lore, these ships were supposedly like they would launch in swarms. So you know, the whole swarm attack, lots of cheap things that the enemy can't shoot them all down. And basically, the Tie Fighter strategy, which uh, is quite appropriate actually for this ship. I'm not sure if it's really what people want when you're flying, like, personally, this isn't the sort of ship I would want to fly. But, on the other hand, you know, it's an alien ship, and it's a pretty cool-looking alien ship at that. It's almost like, you know, a Batwing, I guess, because you look at it from above, yeah, it's very reminiscent of the Batwing, or certain other things which we won't really speak of, but you might be able to sort of see what I mean there. But, uh, anyway... That is, yeah, there's not really much to say about it. It's a fighter, and because I'm not good at combat, I don't really want to show that off here. But it's not bad. It was very expensive for what it is, so, you know, it's definitely got that alien price premium thing, so if you really want one, you could. However, in the lore, there's apparently a graveyard somewhere where Esperia just stores a whole bunch of these that are XUEE. So maybe your best bet instead of buying one now is to wait until the game goes live and then go and steal one from that place. Because, you know, it's a Vandal ship. You could probably steal one fairly easily from a place like that. But anyway, I'm Denadon. This is Star Citizen. Safe landings.